drug traffickers David Hunter and Stephen Quigley had no idea they were being watched moments before the National Crime Agency swooped in and arrested them. This week, Liverpool Crown Court heard how David Hunter was at the head of a drugs conspiracy, closely supported by his trusted associates, 48-year-old Stephen Quigley and 38-year-old Gary McEvitt. The leaders of the group, described as professionals by a top judge, all have previous convictions for high-level drug trafficking. The heads of the criminal conspiracy were said to be that confident of evading authorities. They even went fishing and chatted in Starbucks as they awaited the arrival of a £2 million cannabis shipment stashed in pallets of broccoli. The firm believed their plan was watertight, having set up a front company called LB Wholesale under false names and ordering an innocent shipment of broccoli, aubergine and lettuce as a dummy run a month earlier. However, they had no idea their every move was being monitored by specialist officers from the National Crime Agency. Also involved in the conspiracy were Gary Sarson, who played a significant role, and John Eanson and Andrew Unsworth, both described as minions paid to do the heavy lifting. All six men appeared for sentence on Wednesday, more than five years after the shipment was intercepted at Seaforth Docks on May 27, 2018. The court heard that plans had been put in motion as far back as October 2016 with a warehouse unit purchase in Malaga. A front company called LB Wholesale was also set up. This was under false names, with all the shipments consisting of broccoli, aubergine and lettuce. By February 2018, Hunter travelled out to Malaga, while McEvitt flew to Amsterdam. The court heard in March Hunter messaged an associate nicknamed Kosh saying that he was, quote, waiting on a lump as soon as it lands, which the prosecution said was a reference to the cannabis. By the spring of 2018, the conspirators were on the radar of the NCA, which placed them under close surveillance. After a seemingly successful dummy run, a second consignment was sent from Portugal. However, border force officers in Seaforth carried out an X-ray on the pallets, which this time, quote, revealed anomalies. A search then revealed 406 kilos of herbal cannabis and cannabis resin stashed among the vegetables with an overall street value estimated above £2 million. Border Force replaced the drugs with the dummy package and allowed it on its way again. The load, now minus the cannabis, eventually turned up at Mossside Farm on May 30th where it was greeted by Ianson and Unsworth. Sarson's vehicle was also spotted at the site and as Unsworth and Ianson began unloading the pallets, the NCA swooped in and arrested them. At the same time, NCA officers also picked up Hunter, McEvitt and Quigley on the same day. Sarson was later invited for a voluntary interview. Hunter, McEvitt and Quigley pleaded guilty to conspiracy to import cannabis, whereas Sarson, Ianson and Unsworth took the case to trial. Ianson did admit his guilt on the first day of the trial in July this year, while Sarson and Unsworth were later convicted by a jury. In court, the judge explained the sentences would be reduced to reflect the huge delay in bringing the case to trial. Hunter of HMP Buckley Hall was jailed for four years and eight months to run consecutively to his existing nine years and seven months sentence. Quigley of no fixed address was jailed for five years and two months. Sarson of Widgeon Row, Litham St. Anne's was jailed for five years McEvitt of Hairfinch Green Speak was jailed for four years and ten months. Ianson of Prenton Green Speak was jailed for 25 months, while Unsworth of North Street St. Helens was jailed for two and a half years.